<laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's a reload. G'day marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. Today we are watching John Wick. I have seen this before, but it was quite a while ago, so a lot of it's kind of hazy to me. I remember watching it quite late, I was tired. There was just lots of guns, explosions, da da da. I kind of got the story a little bit mixed up, if you know what I mean. I kind of don't know what was going on other than the fact that he was turning up at different places and shooting people. That's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Apparently the fourth one is in cinemas and I want to react to it on this channel when it comes out on um, streaming services. So yeah, we're preparing for that now. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Hmm. Oh, all right. <laughs> Oh, gee, man, he's not looking good. Man's been shot in the stomach. It appears to be, I imagine. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a, a knife wound, maybe. What are you doing, John? Having one last look at his wife, I'm assuming, before he dies, maybe. That looks nice. Gee. He must be earning the big bucks. <laughs> Gee, what happened to her? Oh no. Was it like a heart attack? Barely a few minutes into this movie and I want to cry because it's, it's Keanu Reeves, man. Damn, that's a nice car. I love the whole black suit, honestly. It looks so cool on him. Uh oh, who dis? It's been a while. Ah! William Defoe, let's go. Don't blame yourself. What are you really doing here, Marcus? Just checking up on an old friend. Really? Is that it? Is that the only reason? Goodbye, John. Oh, okay. Maybe he was just being there as a friend. John Wick? Yes. Sign here, please. Kevlin. Delivery services. Oh, that's right. It's his dog. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> that is like the best gift you could ever receive. John, I'm sorry I can't be there for you. Oh. You still need something. Someone to love. Oh. Because the car doesn't count. <laughs> I love you, John. Your best friend. Oh. oh, so cute. That is so sweet. <laughs> Something to love other than your car. Oh. You would almost feel like your wife's soul is that dog you know it's like as her life goes it's almost like the the new life in the dog has replaced her you know <laughs> that is so cute that just looks like the best place for snuggles I'm up. <laughs> i imagine it was probably trained already before it got to him <laughs> in a movie like this if they speak russian you know that they're evil <laughs> nice ride fast 429 She's 70. The fact that he knocked it too, the disrespect, man. Dude, stop touching it. How much? How much for the car? She's not for sale. Gee. Oh, <laughs> yes, come on. Good day, sir. Mate. That was such a good comeback, though. And in Russian. <laughs> Couldn't even wait. <laughs> Mate, it sounds so good. It's like an outlet for him. He just looks like pissed, man. Oh, 
He seems so calm normally, except for just then. It's like he's suppressed all this anger and rage. And sadness, right? <laughs> oh, he really needed that dog. I think I remember what happens. Oh! Gee, that sounded like it hurt. Jeez, man. There goes his elbow. No, 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 don't go out, don't go out. Shush. No! No, he What's not sure? You asshole, man. Oh, no, man. No. That was like the last thing from his wife that he had. He's pissed. Oh, gee, don't look at me like that, please. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I don't want to feel his wrath. No, thank you. Right, took his car. Where'd you get that car? Oh, does he recognize it? Oh, does he, does he know who it belongs to? Oh, is this the place they just got to earlier? The other guys? It's like he was waiting for him. <laughs> I asked you, where the hell did you get it? Who gives a shit? Legal, son. We own you. Ooh. You don't know me, punk. I work with your father, all right? Did you kill him or what? No. Sure so fucked up his dog. You fucked up his dog. That's what you did. You yeah. fucked up his dog. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> now you kill me right now, or you get the fuck out of my shop. I need a ride. That'll do. Far out, man. I really speaking. I heard you struck my son. Oh, it's just Vigo. May I ask why? Because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and killed his dog. Oh. <laughs> what? That's it? That That's all he said, just oh. And he totally gets it? It's like it's setting him up slowly to be like this intimidating character and we don't know why yet. How's your trip, kid? We won't be hearing from them anytime soon. That's such a nice looking bar there. <laughs> that was intimidating. That's a nice jacket. <laughs> <laughs> he just vomited up what he just drank. Should I go? Need. Need. Get your shoe off. Those guys are not after you. Stay. There you go. English, please. Come on. Stay, goddammit! <laughs> so I stole the fucking car. What the fuck, Vigo? You <laughs> stay. <laughs> That's so awkward. It's like when your friend's getting in trouble from their mum when you visit their place. <laughs> You're just like, ah. Uh. It's who you did it to. Who? The fucking nobody? <laughs> that fucking nobody is John Wick. Oh boy. <laughs> he once was an associate to ours. Oh, he worked for them. We called him Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. He was the one you sent to kill the fucking <laughs> boogie man. Nice. <laughs> None of focus. Commitment. Sheer will. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a pencil. Damn, that's sick. I mean, you could kill three people with his bare hands, right? He asked to leave over a woman, of course. I made a deal with him. An impossible task. The bodies he buried that day lay the foundation of what we are now i want to see that a few days after his wife died to steal his car and kill his fucking dog i can make this right yours for his sin now he's like you're gonna die kid imagine your dad telling you that like i love you but you're gonna die and he's ready <laughs> He's gonna try to create a truce or something. Please, I'll give you anything. <laughs> My condolences. A path to cross 
once again. John? What's he gonna say? Let us not resort to our baser instincts, man, to move on. Ah, <laughs> yep. He did not choose his words wisely. Tasker crew. <laughs> How many? How many do you have? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> it's kind of cool that his son almost killed him, though, you know, by surprise, right? I feel like that's the only way he could probably maybe take this guy out if he's almost invincible. Stealth-like. They're building up so much suspense. I'm so intimidated by him. And we haven't even seen him work yet. Parkour, parkour. These headshots, man. Gee. I think that guy did pretty well, considering. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Through the wall. Hello? Yikes, how are you going to explain this? Noise complaint. Noise complaint. Open that door real wide. Let him see the bodies. <laughs> you uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. Good night, John. Good night, Jimmy. Damn, dude, just like that. He must be, like, in on the whole organization or something. Or maybe John's, like, you know, done him a favor or something. Good to see you, John. Charlie. And here I feared you'd left all this behind. Our first fight of the movie. He takes out 12 men. I didn't even think about that. Hey, like, of course there's some sort of, like, business out there that profits from making places completely clean. Goodbye, Charlie. John. Of course it did. A contract on John Wayne. How much? Too many. Damn, that's a bit. <laughs> English. Yeah, English. <laughs> to what do I owe this visit? I want to offer you this face to face. So you can't refuse. Would you kill John Wick for two million dollars? Contract exclusive. No, it's open. Consider it done. I know I can trust you. Dang, just like that. Against his friend. Oh, he was there at the f uh, at the flippin' funeral. Dang, he's already on his tail, man. Hope you enjoy your stick. Thanks. Good seeing you again, John. Oh, okay. History there, it feels like. Room 880. It is a pleasure having you with us again the second he's like killed anybody everyone's like it's good to have you back it's like they miss the thrill of just having like this figure in their life you know that's creaming everybody <laughs> Come here. oh that's what he was looking at his phone in the i guess the cut in the future that was at the start of the movie right such an obscure hallway Damn, okay. I always find that so cool in movies when like someone goes down some alleyway that looks so boring and so like isolated and they open some door and there's like a huge like club or something there. Hello, Winston. Churchill? Yosef Terosov. Have you returned to the fold? You got out once. You dip so much as a pinky back into this pond. You may well find something reaches out drags you back into its depths. That's a good point. I mean, he's back in, right, in the other movies. If they're willing to break the rules of Continental, double the bounty. No business can be conducted on these premises, lest incurring heavy penalties. Right, so no one can get killed, basically. That's kind of cool. 
It's, it's like a safe haven for assassins. <laughs> Oh, look at the way he's looking at her. Like, so honest. I've never seen you like this. Vulnerable. Yeah, exactly. Just what I was saying. I'm retired. Not if you're drinking here, you're not. Yeah, it's like, you could see in his eyes, hey, like, he just the immediate trust and vulnerability he had with her. You could tell he wanted to just pour his heart out, right? To her. He's really had no one to help him grieve for his wife. Smart, bulletproof vest, mate. That's ruthless, having like normal people sort of be a shield. They're in trouble. I think you're gonna die in there, buddy. <laughs> Of the fucking boogeyman? I'm not. No. But you should be. How are they siblings, man? Want another bottle? Right fucking now! Go get me a bottle! He's such a child, man. So insecure. <laughs> Hello, Francis. Why don't you take the night off? Thank you, sir. <laughs> I will spare your life. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yo, done. Gee. Imagine going out like that, man. So humiliating. He has such a calm sort of presence, doesn't he? <laughs> Oh, it's kind of nice music to go out to. <laughs> ah, dang it. There goes stealth. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Dude. I wonder why I didn't shoot him before when he had a chance. Was it to intimidate him? This is why it was good to have so many people around, right? Gee, nobody cares. <laughs> They're too drunk. Wait. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's a reload. Damn, that was smart. Oh, not the beard. Oh, it's a good thing he's got that vest on. Yeah, this guy's gonna get away. Damn. Gee, this guy's doing a pretty good job. Oh, bye, yeet. Oh, the camera work really made it feel like he hit the ground really hard then. Victor's dead. Yeah. How may I be of service? How good's your laundry? I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. <laughs> may I suggest a drink, sir? Bourbon, perhaps. That sounds perfect. That's so casual, man. I love it. It's so manly. <laughs> Formal and gentleman-like. Take two of these beforehand. Your stitches will tear and you'll bleed. But you'll have full function. Do you need anything for the pain? No, I've got that covered. Yeah, he's got his bourbon. <laughs> Yikes, he's got a great shot through his window, man. Yikes. It's like, don't shoot him in the pee pee. He warned him. 
I think even in this world, four million is not worth breaking those rules, right? <laughs> Noise complaints again, I'm assuming. She's like a freaking gremlin, man. Oh, that's a low move, man. Going for the wound. <laughs> Shut up. Yep, and he goes away when she's down, protecting him. We have received a number of grievances from your floor concerning the north. I can only imagine. I was dealing with an uninvited guest. I have to get back to you. <laughs> Big mistake, girl. No. Oh, but he can't kill her either. Little Russia. There's a church near Cannon Court. It's a front. It's where Vigo keeps his private stash. Dang. Uh oh. <laughs> Hey, Harry. <laughs> Knows everybody, man. You keen on earning a coin? Maybe sitting asleep in one? Catch and release. Catch and release. <laughs> That's so cool that John knows so many people and that they all like him too. Hey, son. How might they help you? Gee! <laughs> what if someone decides to walk in the church who actually wants to pray? <laughs> you will kill me. I know, it's it's such a- I hate that in movies when they're like, this person will kill me if I tell you. And I'm like, dude, you could die right now. What you're going to do with all of that? This. That was so much money, man. Treat all your ladies like this? You are no lady. How would you like to earn more than just a gold coin? She barely changed her face. And management does not take kindly to that sort of behavior. Damn, bro. Never get close to them. Bro, she just broke the rules. Oh, the poor guy, man. He was just trying to earn a coin. Can we recover for this? Viggo, you know what was in that vault, right? It's not. That's so low, too, though. Oh, damn. I kind of like the older brother. He looks like it could be a bond. Yes, <laughs> smart, go for the car. <laughs> That's enough to knock you out. Yeah, that was a smart move. I want John Wick to win, you know, but like, I'm really liking the older brother. He just seems very, very competent, you know? Do you know what was in that vault? Leverage I had on this city. Audio recordings, physical evidence. Priceless. Right, so it's more than just money. It's like certain hold he has on people throughout the city and stuff. When you got out, lying to yourself that the past held no sway over the future, which is why God took your wife. Oh, gee, that's a dark way to think about it. We are cursed, you and I. We agree. <laughs> In other words, you're cursed. Your kids are gonna die. <laughs> a final gift for my life. Yeah. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope. An opportunity to grieve on alone. And your son took that from me. Killed that from me! Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> you can die screaming alongside him! Yes! Bro, coming in clutch. Let's go. Damn, you're so quick. Gee, impressive he got out of that submission so quickly. Ah, uh, no, no, you're gone, mate. Damn. Oh, that crunch, man. Mate. 
Jeez. I'd be so scared if I was this guy. Where is he? Shit! <laughs> I have your word then if I tell you where he is. You let me walk away. For the contract. Done. Brooklyn, 434, Wallace Place. They know you're coming. But it won't matter. <laughs> He's lucky he had his mate to help, you know? Nah, mate, have you ever played Far Cry? He can just take you out one by one. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't they didn't suspect it was John. Ooh. I love that. The fact that he shot his friend first to strike fear. <laughs> Gee. Nah, dude, you're done. He is that incompetent, he couldn't even decide which way to go. He deserves to die, man. Gee. Finally. Damn, bro. I bet that feels so, like... Obviously, I don't condone revenge. But, I bet that feels so freeing for him. <laughs> Make the arrangements. <laughs> Parting gift. From the management. Compensation for last night's unfortunate incident. That's so cool. They bought him a car for that. <laughs> Be pretty sweet having friends in high places, right? <laughs> but then again, he's sacrificed so much, right? And there's so many downsides to his way of life. How many times do I have to save your ass? <laughs> Uh oh. He has witnessed them together. You done goofed up, bro. Let's get on with this. Whatever the fuck this is. Hello, Marcus. He's like, how'd you find out? Because of that freaking girl that sold you out. Marcus betrayed me. You had every chance. And if you have done your job, my son will be still alive! Miss Perkins. Why am I not surprised? She's got a reputation for being... not having any sort of moral code. Oh, that's brutal. You go out on my terms. No, my good sir. I go out on my own. Nice. <laughs> Props to him for getting a pretty epic death. Yeah. And here we go. Now John's back on the revenge trail. Yeah. Kill the chopper. Miss Perkins, I apologize for calling you after this hour. Your membership to the Continental has been, by thine own hand, revoked. Damn, there we go. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> you gotta honor the code, man. We live by a code. Which is why I'm not the one telling you that a certain helicopter to a certain helipad is being fueled for a certain <laughs> someone. I love that. I really like him. He's all about the code and he's helping him out because of it. <laughs> Couldn't even make it to the helicopter. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. That was pretty easy. What's fucking wrong with this guy? Somebody give me a gun. Who's got a gun? Gee. <laughs> Dude. Push him. <laughs> Russian cocksucker. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's giving up now. Oh, 
I wonder what that was about. Gee. Was the laugh because it only had one bullet in the chamber? So many cars get totaled in this movie. <laughs> no more bullets. No more bullets. That's what you say to someone who's way better than you with a with a gun. <laughs> Gee. Oh no, not a tiny knife. Okay. Oh, the elbow. Oh, and that's uh, the wound he had at the start that was bleeding from his uh, stomach. Good seeing you, John. Still got the knife in his shoulder. Damn, bro. Man had a whole empire, just lost everything in his own life in a, in a matter of like, what, two days? Nice. He didn't give up after all. Nice. <laughs> Stapling his own wounds. Gee. He sees someone he likes. It's a Staffy. Staffies are so cute. <laughs> Dude, Staffy's like skull is so big. Probably not as well trained as the first dog, but a dog nonetheless. Yeah, nah, so John Wick is actually badass. <laughs> he's so cool, man. I love John Wick. I can see why he's so popular, like, in just pop culture now. I feel like he just really took over. Hey, like, since Keanu Reeves did this role, I just feel like I've seen so many references to it in, like, pop culture, all the memes and stuff that have come out. And, like, whenever someone thinks, like, Okay, who's a character that is basically unstoppable and, like, can murder pretty much everyone regardless of how many people are there with whatever skill set? People just always think John Wick now. It's oh, it's crazy how much it's taken over. I love it. It makes total sense. I heard an opinion recently that this movie, um, it doesn't really have any right to have been success as successful as it was, which is why it was successful. I feel like there are so many movies with hidden agendas, um, some sort of message behind it. Um, there would be a really complex story involved. I think any of those things, if they're handled really well, they can be good. But I think just because of how simple this movie is, it just, it just worked so brilliantly. Like the fact that the whole story is just a, such a simple revenge story. A guy's wife dies, some people kill his dog and take his car, and he goes on a revenge mission and kills pretty much everybody involved. That's it. That's all it is. And it just works so well. And I think just the, um, also the style of like the shooting and like, um, those fight scenes is very unique. I think we haven't really seen any sort of like fight chore choreography with like handguns and stuff like that. And like improvising with, um, you know, the environment like that before. I think that we've seen many different styles of that done before, right? Um, but this was like a new sort of way of doing it, which was really cool. I really love it. Just, it's so sad. Like, obviously, I'm not a psychopath. Everyone who's, watch who's watched this movie understands exactly what I'm saying. Please don't take it too far. <laughs> but there's something very satisfying about seeing John Wick deliver headshots so efficiently and effectively. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't like, like, look, it's, it's all made up, okay? So it's not bad. But... Anyone watching this movie knows it's very satisfying and fun to watch. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys did too. I'm really keen to watch the fourth movie. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. So stay cozy.